Hi everybody, it's Lindsay Malloy and welcome back to my channel. This week I am doing a plan with me um, for the week of May 14th through May 20th. Um, and the kit that I am using this week is a kit from Planning Roses and it is the Spring Fling Collection. Um, I absolutely love this little, it's almost like splashes of paint all over the place and the colors on here. I love the yellow um, and the little bike accent. So um, really quick, I will show you the pages. Um, here are all the full boxes and then you've got some little quarter appointment labels. Um, here is the bottom washi and then some washi strips. Um, lately I haven't been using too much of these but um, definitely want, probably will try to incorporate these in my um, work Erin Condren planner when that arrives. Um, so I might just start holding on to these rather than using them. Um, and then there, here is the headers, some heart checklists, some more little appointment labels, some icons, some checks. These are actually two pieces of um, washi strips. They're quarter box size, so um, right here on the end, you can use those. Same thing over here on this end. We've got some half boxes, some little um, script um, stickers with some icons and two Bildu stickers. Hello Weekend. Ooh, I really like that one. It's very simple. Muted. Love that. Um, here's the Ombre Heart Checklist or Heart Check box Boxes. And then, oh, I haven't seen this before. This is a Weekly Habits. It has four Weekly Habits on there. And then there's a little habit tracker, a big this week um, header, lots of little things, um, and then some sidebar, uh, weekly sidebar things. This one is really faint. I don't think you can see it on the screen very well because you can't really even see it in person very well. It's really, really faint um, and really fine lined, but it does have the days of the week on the side. So it does say Monday, um, Mon, two, twos, Wed, third, fry, sad, sun. Really light though, really light font. You can kind of see it, but not really. Um, and then more of this extra washi on the ends. Um, so excited to use this, very spring feeling. Um, I feel like this would be a fun kit to use um, since spring is almost over and summer is getting closer and closer. So I am going to speed things up and get started with planning. Um, and also just to note, the inserts that I use are the Jesenia's printables and it's weak on four pages, I think. Um, but it's the dated version that you can buy from her. Um, so yeah, this is my second week in using this planner versus the Erin Condren. So let's get started. First things first, I am just setting up my headers and I am using the Today headers um, all across the top. And at the top of every week, I always put in all of the calls that I have for work. So I have quite a few calls every single day, which is can be quite draining, um, and I feel like I don't get a lot done because of all the calls, but <laughs> um, it's kind of nice to ha have just all of them on paper so that I don't have to open up my fo phone or um, my work computer to check and see uh, what my next call is, especially at night when I'm going to bed or something. I've, I need to know if I need to wake up really early for a call or something like that. So um, I usually cut down the ombre full, um, the full box ombre heart checklists. And that's kind of like a visual for me as well to see if it's a really, if I'm using the full box, then I've got a full day. Um, so it's definitely like a visual reminder as well on how much I'll be able to get done. Um, at the bottom, I always put in my, the little things with the meals, the dinners. And I just like to keep track of what we eat for dinner. 
Um, cause it's something that we, that I love doing. I love cooking, cooking dinner. So, and usually my lunches are just leftover dinner. So <laughs> I don't need to usually track that. I also use a happy planner, um, exercise and food log um, planner. It's the full size one, not the mini, which I absolutely love. I'm glad that I found it. It's undated. So um, I've just started using that for the month of May. If you're curious to see how I set up my week in that planner, um, I did post a video of that last week. So go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below. Um, now I'm just working on my sidebar. I always put in um, habit trackers and then I have been really loving putting in a um, box for to track little things like little memories for each day of the week. So that's what that um, box at the top is. Um, now I'm just planning out which days I am going to the gym. I have a group fitness gym that I am a member of and I go two times a week to that. Um, then for the rest of the week, I try to put in something that I've done in the evening. Either we go to a movie or I tidy up some part of the house um, or I take my little dachshund Gary on a walk um, and something like that. So, And sometimes I take Dakota on a walk too, but she's she's rounding you know she's over 12 years old so going on a long walk with her which I usually try to do like I want to do start doing like 30 minute long walks she's just there's just no way that she would um be able to make that Um, so now I'm just going through and adding my to-do lists. I like to add um, a to-do list for every day. I really do use my um, planner almost as like a crossbreed between a bullet journal. I use the same ideas within the hearts um, as I as you would in a bullet journal. So I use the check marks if I finish something or I do a forward arrow if it gets rescheduled, backward arrow if it gets moved or um, um, all those little things. So I, I use little symbols within there. So I really do like when kits have um, white space area checklists because it's definitely something that I use every day. Um, I'm putting down, I put, putting down these um, full boxes. Um, I don't always use full boxes the full length. So I like to cut them down, um, especially um, if I have quite busy days. Um, so on here, I've got just some washi strips to fill in some space. Um, and then on this little, these little sunglasses, I have to cut it down quite a bit um, a couple times just to get it to fit in there the way that I want it to. Um, so yeah, it's looking cute. On Saturday and Sunday, I like to use full boxes at the top lately. Um, and I really loved the Hello Weekend banner. So I really wanted to make sure I could use two full boxes um, that had some empty space up at the top. Um, then I'm just going back through and I'm adding in these cute little icon stickers that have script on them and I love being able to use the sticker having stickers like these in a kit I think it's very convenient um, you don't have to add in too many and they all match the kit um, so yeah now I'm just pulling in some washi that I had on hand that I got from um, Hobby Lobby and it is just some pink washi and it has kind of like this almost orangey gold foil on it um, that I actually end up adding some more over there to the to-do list as well. Um, here in the notes section, I've been enjoying adding a meals section, and I'm trying to use this area to plan out the following week um, because usually on Sundays, I um, plan out the following week's dinners, and then we go grocery shopping, and that's kind of our Sunday ritual. Um, 
this past weekend, though, it was Mother's Day and just things got out of whack, so we didn't quite do that. <laughs> but um, I want to try and keep that space reserved for um, dinner planning for the next week. Now I'm using more of that washi tape, and I put that script sticker down, but I actually don't keep it there because um, I wanted to. I wanted it to match all the way across rather than keep it like that. And I actually put down a little tiny um, flag there pretty soon here that I actually take away as well. That little space right there just continues to change throughout the rest of this video. Um, now I'm just adding some more of the full boxes. I really liked this one with the flowers in the coffee mug. I thought that one was really cute. Um, and then I add just some flags and a happy mail sticker and now I'm writing in the to do on a tiny little flag um, over there. Now looking back at it, it looks fine the way it, I had it before, but I actually change it up and, and move stuff around. Um, so now I'm just putting down some more of the little icon and script stickers and just adding a little bit more something. Um, on the don't forget um, section, I end up using these washi strips, gray washi strips that were from the kit um, and make sort of a banner instead of using that as a don't forget section. Um, I think right now I'm kind of almost struggling to figure out how to fill in this page, this notes and list page, because I write a lot of my list stuff each day on my to-do lists. Um, so still trying to figure out how I'm using this space um, and how I'm going to make it, you know, usable for me, myself. Um, so yeah, now I'm just adding a couple more script stickers. I added that flag in there. And just going back for little bits and pieces. I really ended up liking how I set up um, the little um, don't forget section. So I actually cover up the top three priorities and put down that... Um, more of those little washi areas and then put down a same color header that says important. Okay, so I finished up um, setting up basically the baseline of what I do every week. Um, I kind of enjoyed this kit. The only thing that I think was missing was some deco and I'm not sure if there was an extra sheet that I didn't order maybe, um, but I think that was the only thing really missing out of this sheet, out of this, um, out of this kit. And date covers. They, the, there were no date covers included in this kit, so um, I kept those the same, which is fine because then it gives a little bit of pop of black anyways, um, which is kind of along the same lines as the kit anyways. So. Um, I have my this week, this is where I like to put my happy thoughts and things like that. Um, and then I'm testing out this little four weekly habits. Um, my vitamins reading create, which is my word of the year from that I am doing with, um, Allie Edwards and close all rings, um, on my, um, Apple watch. Um, so um, each day is pretty open. I've got on the bottom here just two spots for gym time and then three because I want to reserve those for um, either doing taking Gary on a walk um, or doing some like household chores sort of things. Um, and then I have my usual meals at the bottom. Here's my calls, my daily to-do list, that sort of thing. Um, then on the weekend, I kind of left this open. I think I might just put maybe a half box or something like that just to put like a little feature I think that's what I'll add another thing on this kit pretty much every single sticker is sticking um, I don't know if that's a common thing for these but it's like they're perforated instead of um, instead of um, kiss cut um, but that's okay I don't really mind cutting those because I cut my, um, I have my trusty little scissors uh, on hand because um, I do cut 
the stickers down anyways. So, um, but just just an observation. Um, might have needed to um, change her blade out or something on her silhouette or Cricut or whatever she uses. So, yeah, on the weekend here, I've got the little Hello Weekend. I really wanted to use that, so I used um, two full boxes that had blank, you know, more free space at the, up at the top. Um, and then I used this really cute um, mug with the um, pink roses in the books. I thought that was really cute. And then this is my going to be my weekend to-do list. Um, over here, I'm not quite sure what I want to use this list for um, or this important. Um, I thought I'd try out um, using this top one as the top four priorities on things that we want to do around the house because um, we are landscaping our house um, ourselves. We live in a new build, so um, we are basically starting from the dirt. So um, probably top four things that we'll want to work on this weekend. Um, top three important. Um, last week I did not um, use that section as like an important area. I just kind of used it as a little spot for deco, but since this kit didn't come with any um, extra deco, um, I didn't have anything there. And I also didn't want to use the washi strips because I did want to save some of these stickers for my Erin Condren um, and use this as a spread and then supplement with the Happy Planner stickers. Um, so I used some washi. Um, this is from Joann's and I think I got this in like one of the huge kits where it had 20 pieces of washi and it's just this pink washi with some gold floral accents on it. Um, so this list um, I kept the same um, as last week where I use I'm going to use this as my work to do list. I might just switch this flag around or something like that and make all of this or just take this work script and put it here and so this whole thing will be for my work list um, which I could definitely fill. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still trying out like how I like this insert and, and if I'm going to stick with this one um, moving forward, but I definitely like how much space you have um, for all of your stickers. The only thing is if you don't have a kit with deco, I mean you've got a lot of open spaces. So um, I think that's something I'll be looking into more. Um, when I do purchase my sticker kits to make sure that I'm getting a kit with deco pieces or um, if there's an add-on making sure I put that in my cart because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that there was a deco kit for this but um, I think there could have been some really cute deco pieces um, if there was. I just may have missed it. So yeah, I think so far I think it's super cute um, that pink washi pretty much almost exactly matches the pink, almost. The gold kind of um, is just a nice little touch to it too. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed that, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!